Steph Curry with the shot. <laughs> Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy, JB Trap House Boxing, back again with another video. Shout out to the LDBC. Smash that like and that subscribe button. Share the video always and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive stream news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit that notification icon bell so you miss this heat that's being dropped from Urban Media Fix. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast and make sure you hit that notification icon bell so you don't miss this heat that's being dropped from the Smoke City Mobcast. All right, check this out, man. AJ, you know, apparently we know that he's in L.A. He done came for whatever reason. We don't know yet. Uh, you know, contrary, uh, contrary to my beliefs, I think that, I mean, he just doing some little trying to promote the set of, I don't know, to be honest with you, man. But, I, I mean, I, it might be promo. Who knows? Yo, my whole thing is this, though, man. Like, we need to come to some type of, you know, conclusion or something, man. We need to get figure out what's going on here, man. I mean, you coming over here, going to NBA games and shit like that, over there giggly, kiki, ha-ha with uh, Steph Curry and all them guys. And, you know, that's all fine and dandy. You know, can't nobody tell Joshua where to be at or whatever the case may be. But, uh... I'm a, you must know one thing, though. Why you sitting up there joking with Draymond and Steph Curry and all them, best believe they might be talking amongst each other. They might have done asked you. I don't know. But they talking amongst each other, talking about why this big, scary-ass dude ain't, this big, scary-ass Brit ain't trying to uh, get at Deontay Wilder. Believe that. So... You know, you could be giggly, you could be a fan, whatever you choose to be at the time, you know, AJ, that's cool. You know, that's cool. But at the end of the day, man, you know, you need to go ahead and make this fight happen, man. You got Eddie Hearn him out here making you look like a real sucker, you know. And at the end of the day, the coward label ain't going to go on them. You know, they they just, the, the shiesty promoter, uh, janky promoter uh, title going to go on them. You know the coward role is, is the coward jacket is gonna be on you. So by you coming over here making these public appearances and going to games, you know trying to market yourself in the U.S. I get it to get people to you know talk about it more. You trying to guarantee that people are gonna do a pay per view or whatever. I don't know. That's cool. But you got plenty of time to do all that. You sit up there and said you don't want to do these world tours and all this. You don't want to do a a, a four-city tour. I mean, shit, what you doing now? Look what you doing now. Look what you doing now. So, you coming over here trying to be buddy-buddy, and you say, yeah, why do you, I'm coming for you. The Americans going to hold you to that quick. They don't want to hear that you want to fight them in the next three fights, and you trying to be, they don't want to hear that, bro. I'm just being honest with you. We don't want to hear that over here. They're going to they gonna put you on blast. You know, but it would have been hilarious to see if, uh, if Wilder would have popped up. You know, I would have loved to see the, the look on AJ's face. You know, and see how if Wilder would have came down there and they would have did a face-off in front. That would have stole the fucking night. That shit would have been viral. You understand me? That shit would AJ not knowing Wilder popped up and Wilder like was happening. How you come to my turf? And you ain't trying to see me? Man, that would have been huge, bro. That would have been fucking... That would have been nuts. I would have loved to see that, man. Would love to see it. Um, But in the meantime, between time, though, man, we need to get this this, this fight cracking late, man. Uh, you know, this is what everybody want to see, man. I don't know if you're trying to stall it out the way to Tyson Fury get back in the picture. I don't know what's going on, but because at the end of the day, man, that coward uh, jacket is going to be on you, AJ. So while you sitting up here taunting and playing and talking about wild, I'm coming for you, you better make sure you speak those, bring those words to fruition, man. Bring your action and your words together, and they need to come together like, like prayer, like hands. You know what I'm talking about? So make that happen, Captain. Say I do. And, uh, you know, 
That's what that's that's what we waiting on, man. We waiting on that. So AJ, get 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 right, man. Don't come over here faking and shaking, man. You know what I'm talking about? Don't come over here with that. We don't want, we tired of this baloney crap. Take the fight. At the end of the day, you gotta understand. You got it. This fight should most likely happen over here. Nobody in America is gonna tune in at five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening to watch no damn uh, boxing, man. It's too much going on over here. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe try it on the second fight, but the first fight definitely needed to be over here. At least it'll give people in America something to, to run off of. You know, it'll help out more. But by you making it in the UK first and then you bringing it to America second, that ain't that don't make sense to me, bro. That, that ain't going to make sense at all. You know, it ain't. No matter how you want to slice it and dice it, it ain't going to make sense. If somebody got a better solution to the to the problem, y'all please let me know. Until then, this is your boy, J.B. Trap House Fox. Wait. I've been Steph Curry with the shot. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to catch this plane in a few minutes, but Anthony, get up with your man, Eddie, and Barry Hearn, and tell them to check their email. I got something special for you. And by the way, all the money's in the bag. So I expect you'll be a man of your word. Okay. I'll take 50 million up front. If that's the case, Wilder's team, bring me 50 million up front and we'll take the fight. I'll see you soon then.